Okay, hi guys. I'm sorry. Um, I may be a little bit rushed. I'm on my lunch break and this is the second time that I am doing this video because I'm on my lunch break and I'm outside and so I didn't interrupt it and I don't know how to connect my videos when I'm using my cell phone. So I'm starting over again. Anyway, this is your girl Tamara and I have my little sticky note here so you may catch me looking down from time to time. But this is my week 24 post-op update, um, post-op lap band update. Um, I started this journey at 253 pounds and as of two weeks ago I was down to 207 pounds. So the numbers today was this morning when I got up and I weighed myself I was at 210 pounds which puts me at a three pound gain. And I'm not that mad about that, but I know um, I know some of it is probably water weight. But um, so today I'm starting the five day pouch test, and I know I've talked about it on my last couple of videos, but I never actually started. And um, like Tamika knew me, um, always says preparation is the key, and so I had to plan. <laughs> and grocery shop and get all the things I needed for my five day pouch. So, pouch test. So, um, today I started off pretty good. I had a protein shake this morning and I had um, some hot tea in between that. And what I wanted to say is I noticed how I end up setting myself up for failure um, because in saying that, um, the protein shake lasted me for about four hours and around about 12 o'clock I was hungry again. And I had a bag of pretzels in my desk and I kept pondering and, and reasoning with myself that if I ate three pretzels it would be barely any calorie intake and all this hoopla. But the whole point of it, of me doing the five day pouch test, is not for me to eat anything on day one and two just to have my liquid proteins. And so, um, because I was hungry at that time, I felt like I could slip by with getting the pretzels. So, um, I didn't eat the pretzels. So I had to give myself a pat on the leg for that pat on the shoulder because I didn't eat the pretzels. Um, and saying that I got hungry about 12, I didn't go to lunch until 1.50. And so that time in between there, I know that my stomach was growling, so I tried to come and say that my hunger with eating, I'm sorry, with drinking um, warm tea. Uh, when you're hungry and it's within your allotted time, you know, like you're not snacking or grazing in between, but you're hungry and you for sure know that it's hunger pain, it, um, it's better to go ahead and eat and satisfy that hunger because when you don't eat when you're hungry, you that's what, for me, starts the snacking and the grazing. And um, that's a bad habit that I got back into, and that's why I'm doing the five-day pouch test, because I'm trying to get out of um, doing the snacking and grazing. And even though I, I try to snack, when I do snack, I try to snack with healthier choices, like um, the low-calorie pretzels and sun chips and everything. Either way, it's still snacking in between what the lap band rules allow us. And that's like three meals a day and we shouldn't be hungry in between time. And so I don't want me starting to snack be my downfall for why I can't make it to Wonderland. Which um, my goal is to make it to Wonderland um, 199.9 .9 by September 22nd. So I'm going to be working on that. We're also, I wanted to um, talk about I'm um, doing the Couch to 5K over. I know in my last couple of videos, you guys have seen me doing the Couch to 5K, and I was doing it um, on a regular, and then I hurt my ankle. And so when I hurt my ankle, I was out of, or oh, I had stopped doing the Couch to 5K for about um, two weeks. And we all know that once you stop something, um, especially working out and then you go back to the gym it's like starting over from the very beginning all over again like you never even started ever before at least that's how it is for me 
so I'm starting week one over and I'm happy about that so anyway guys I don't have anything else on my little sticky note except for I'm planning ahead and um, I'm getting so confused because I know I said something about it on my last video and now I'm doing this video over again but um, Tamika Numi always talks about um, planning ahead and so um, that's exactly I mean you have to it's imperative you have to plan ahead me being a lap band um, patient I should have had some of the things that I needed for my five-day pouch test already in my household and I didn't and so when I looked through my closet my pantry and realized that I didn't even have um, only thing I had was the protein shakes so I had uh, enough protein shakes to do day one and two but I'm noticing that um, I'm starting to fill my cabinets back up with things that got me in trouble in the first place um, cooking for my family and not making um, separate meals for me um, and sometimes I don't like doing a separate meal sometimes I introduce and I make something for all of us together but um, for the most part, I need to be able to make separate meals for me and need to be able to eat separately from what they are eating. But anyway, guys, so um, I had to go to the grocery store and pack up and load up on things for that house diet and all. And so now I am drinking my soup. That's so weird. I'm having my soup because I can drink soup as part of my liquid um, diet for day one and day two. So anyway guys, that's all because now I'm getting ready to start rambling and I don't want to ramble because this is probably going to take a little while to load up. But I will try and come back on on day three because day three is when I switch from my liquids to my solids. So I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy your week and I will make sure I get those um, videos uploaded. And I also want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and um, to all the newbies. Good luck. I mean, this is a hard journey, but it's also a learning journey and it's something that you you're not always going to be perfect at, but the good thing is you can always start over and you have so many supportive people on YouTube that will help you along your way, give you the encouragement, the inspiration that you need to be successful. So talk to you guys later. Enjoy your day. Bye.